this is your first major film role. Um, what was the process like auditioning for it? So it was kind of a long process. The first audition happened um, late, well, early December of 2018 when I was still on Broadway. And mm -hmm. I just went into a casting company room and I read, uh, I put, you know, a song and a few lines on tape and that was it. And then a couple weeks after School of Rock on Broadway closed, I found out that I was going to be a finalist. I was mm -hmm. so excited. Um, and it was a two day final process. Uh, there were Four, there were three other girls, four including myself, um, in the in the finals, and they were all so talented, so sweet. I got to you know make some good friendships. And the first day of the finals was singing. It was just straight singing for Mr. David Nathan and Mr. Philip Lawrence and Mr. David E. Talbert, the director. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun. I got to sing, which is always fun. <laughs> I love to do it. And then the second day, more singing. And then I got to act with Mr. Forrest Whitaker. And at the end of the day, actually, I also got to dance with him, which was really fun. Um, and I, I just like did, you know, the whip and nae, nae whatever dance moves I could think of. And he copied me. It was so funny. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And um, so the after the finals were over, they were like, well, we're going to London. And I was like, man, that 25% chance of me getting the role is just going down the drain. <laughs> um, but yeah, so about a week after the, the finals, um, every day, my agents were calling me. They're like, what's your shoe size? What's your shirt size? And for some reason, every time the phone rang, I would be like, oh my gosh, is that them? Is that them? And I never, I never do that for an audition, but this one was just so special. And so on February 28th at 11.09 a.m., um, someone from the UK called my, my mom. And when he answered the, when he picked up the phone, I could immediately tell that it was Mr. Talbert. And um, he asked me if I wanted to star in a Netflix movie. And of course I said yes. And I was just crying. And it's definitely one of the best days, if not the best day of my life. Yeah, yeah, congratulations again. You know, this, this film is such, such a good achievement. And not many people can say in their first major film role, they worked with Forrest Whitaker, um, Felicia Rashad, the Nikki Noni Rose, Keegan Michael Key, like the list goes on. Like, how was the experience like working with um, such veteran actors of this caliber? And did you, what were the things that you learned from them? Yeah, so just being able to work, you know, with Mr. Whitaker, Miss Anika, like you said, um, just watching them on set. And um, I remember sometimes when I was working with Mr. Whitaker, my mom would be like, Madeline, look, do you see what he's doing? Because, you know, he's practicing his lines and he was into the role. And it was like really inspiring, you know, because of <laughs> course he's such an amazing actor as are all the other, you know, uh, amazing uh actors and actresses in the movie so just being being able to like watch them all just in their craft doing what they love to do and what they're passionate about was really inspiring and I feel like I learned you know how I want to you know portray a role and act in the future um so yeah it was really it was really an incredible experience yeah and also what was that experience like working with um director David E. Top? you know a lot of actors say that um the experience with their very first feature director is one that they always remember. So how, how was that like? Definitely. Uh, I will definitely always remember <laughs> my, my experience with Mr. Talbert. Um, I mean, I don't really have any words. Like Mr. Talbert and I, we, I feel like we bonded so much during the five months of filming Jingle Jangle. And um, we call each other twinsies because we feel like we're so much alike. <laughs> and um, every day when I would come on to set, we have what's called best hugs ever. And we would hug for like 20 seconds every single day. We'd be like, best hugs ever. <laughs> and so we just bonded a lot. And I feel like I found, and he's just so supportive and was an amazing director. You know, how he directed me and how he really allowed me to, step into to the role and to the scene um it was really really just a, such a special experience that i will never forget like i said also your singing in the film is so good and it made so much sense when i found out that you were in school of rock on broadway so i was like of course this is this is why she has such a great voice uh do you see yourself doing um even more singing like outside of acting 
I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll just have to see what the future holds. Um, singing has always been my first love before I even got into acting. Um, I would sing all around the house and everything. So I definitely love to sing. Um, something that I'm very passionate about, but we'll see. <laughs> And you have such a bright career ahead of you. I feel like you, it's early in the game, but you can tell that you're going places. So who are some of the actors and actresses that you look up to and would hope to work with someday? Um, Miss Zendaya, definitely, because I, I used to watch her all the time when I was a, a little kid. And even when, you know, now, because she was on Disney, Kids Bob, everything. And uh, so I definitely look up to her. Um, probably like the most I would say she's mm -hmm. so, so amazing so I would love to be able to work with her one day um who else oh Miss Reese Witherspoon and Miss Oprah Winfrey um <laughs> they're both amazing I saw them both in A Wrinkle in Time and Miss Oprah Winfrey was in uh, Lee Daniels the Butler mm -hmm. uh, you know with also Mr. Forrest Whitaker um and then also I would love to work with Mr. Tyler Perry. I want to work with Medea. I really do <laughs> um, because, you know, <laughs> he's such an amazing, um, I feel like he would be such an amazing director. And then, uh, but I don't know if I could work with Medea because I, I can tell you one thing, I would not be able to stop laughing. Medea is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> so I definitely want to work with Mr. Tyler Perry and um, some others, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like the film has a lot of, I guess, standout moments, especially with all the music and stuff that's involved in it. Which was your favorite part of the movie to film? Ooh, um, well, filming Possible, my song Possible in the, in the movie was really mm. fun. Um, I got to dance on a ledge, which was really exciting. <laughs> uh, my mom was like, because <laughs> I was dancing on the ledge, but it was so much fun. Um, and also, you know, hard work, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. so I, I love filming Possible, um, singing and, and dancing, also doing choreography for Possible. And um, there's also a dance scene in the movie, which I also loved to film. It was so much fun. The vibes were just immaculate, I would say. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was, so those are two of my favorite scenes to film, definitely. Yeah. So hopefully I can see this film being like, you know, a classic film for some people or a favorite film for a lot of people when they think of holiday movies. So I want to ask you, uh, what are some of your favorite Christmas slash holiday movies? Um, the Grinch, the live action Grinch with Mr. Jim Carrey. I love that movie. And then also any of the Home Alone movies really awesome movies and I don't know if you've heard, heard of this movie it's called Jingle Jangle a Christmas Journey I really like it a lot <laughs> um, and um, yeah so I feel like that would be like my top three definitely and once Jingle Jangle comes out I mean I'm gonna watch it every day obviously because you know, it's just that good yeah but uh I, I like that you said Home Alone because Home Alone is like one of my favorite um Christmas movies. I always have a debate whether I like the first one or the second one because I think I think both of them have specific moments that you just love about them, but they're also different in the same way. I can I can never choose, but like every time the holidays come and it's always on TV, like I'm gonna have to watch it. Definitely, <laughs> with, yes. <laughs> so yeah, love that movie too. Um, what's one thing that you hope um, people watching the film? will take away from it. And there's a lot of inspirational things in the movie. And I like how your character in particular is just like such a, a go-getter and, you know, definitely wants to take um, action and do what she can to help. What do you, what do you hope people that are watching this film take away from it? Um, I mean, there, like you said, there are so many inspiring and amazing messages from this film, but one message that I feel like my character really, really um, portrays and tells other people to do is be, be yourself, you know? Um, I feel like throughout the, throughout the film, especially in the beginning, Journey is trying to figure out who she is and how she fits in because she's not like all the other kids, you know? She likes to create and use her imagination. She doesn't like to, you know, play and go outside. Mm -hmm. So I really hope people, you know, just be themselves, you know, no matter what your age is um so yeah that's probably one of the main messages that i feel like my character portrays and that then that and that i would love for you know other people to take away from this movie yeah so i ask you which um 
which scene was your favorite? What was the favorite moment that you had from set that make could be a film scene or a not a part of the filming, but just a favorite moment that you remember when uh, filming the movie? Um, well, there's this scene towards the end, and it's with me, Mr. Keegan, uh, Mr. Whitaker, Miss Anika, and then later Mr. Hugh Bonneville comes in. And that was one of my favorites also because it was so nice to be able to work together, you know, as a cast, you know, because either, you know, me and Mr. Whitaker, well, Mr. Whitaker and I are working together or, you know, Karen Dyer, the actor who plays Edison in the movie and I are working together. So it was really nice to be able to, um, you know, get all together and act together. So that was probably one of my favorites. And uh, you're a rising star right now. What advice would you give to other young actors who are about the same age as you, who are, you know, want to be just like you and become actors too and get in the industry and stuff. What advice would you give to them? Um, well, first and foremost, I just want to say, you know, do what, do what you love, you know, whether it's this or, you know, something to do with academics or sports or whatever, just do what you love. But if it is this, um, I would say when you're first auditioning for things, you're going to hear, a lot, a lot of no's. I know I definitely have and very few yeses. Um, and definitely don't let that discourage you at all because sometimes it has absolutely nothing to do with your talent, more to do with your fit for the role, whether it's, you know, skin color, hair color, height, you know, whatever it is. So definitely don't let the no's discourage you from, um, you know, giving up and um, don't give up. Just keep, keep thriving, keep striving, keep working hard and uh, just try your best.